Garth Brooks' new documentary, The Road I'm On, recently aired this week on December 2nd and December 3rd on A&E as a two-part series outlining Brooks' personal life and his journey throughout his music career. What was interesting to hear is that the documentary was meant to have no filters to the point where even Garth himself learned new things about himself at different times in his life. But what about some of the things us fans took away from the documentary about the country megastar? Well, if you weren't able to catch the documentary on TV, today on CountryCast, we are going to take a look at 10 interesting things learned about Garth Brooks. Starting first at number 10, what was the initial cause for Brooks to retire from music back in 2000 before he eventually came back around the year 2005? Well, it surrounded how one of his daughters pronounced the word both. Brooks ended up hearing how his daughter Taylor said the word and had somewhat of an, uh, an epiphany where he said, that's when I realized someone else was raising my children. Garth made it a point to take time away from his music career, which we all know Garth really puts in the work when it comes to it, but he made the ultimate decision to be a bigger part of his family. Moving on to number nine, Garth made sure to raise his daughters to know and understand responsibility and hard work and not to just live off his coattails. Some may think children of big stars just get what they want and never you know, really truly understand hard work and effort, but that appears to not be the case with Brooks' daughters. Living in Oklahoma on a farm, I'm pretty sure there was plenty of work to be done. Next up at number eight, just like every good artist who writes their own songs, Garth himself even has a place to go and escape to find his words. That spot of his is in Goodlettsville, Tennessee. Garth refers to it as the point. Garth said, this is where a lot of questions get answered. Moving on to number seven, who kept Brooks straight and in line enough to make him the superstar he is today? Well, in the documentary, Brooks had this to say about his father. He says, that fear that that man instilled in all of us kept us on track, and that's how it had to be. Even though us boys didn't know it then, it was the greatest thing for us. Now, a healthy fear for your parents is a good thing, and nowadays it just seems like that has dwindled away some. So, anyways, moving on to number six. We should all be thanking Garth's brother, Mike Brooks, because he taught Garth how to play guitar. And apparently, after only teaching him a few chords, Garth caught on really quick, and I guess you can say the rest is history. Number five, every Garth fan has their opinion about his decision to attempt to be a rock star and act as a character by the name of Chris Gaines. But if you are one who is a hater, well, his wife Trisha gets the urge to throw a punch. Yearwood said in the documentary, anytime anyone ever makes a joke about Chris Gaines, I want to punch them in the face. To each his own, I guess, but maybe we should give that Gaines album another chance. All right, so number four. Garth is such a talented country star and is a straight legend, no doubt. But is he the only country star in his family? Well, not actually. Brooks's mother, Colleen Carroll, was also a country artist back in the 1950s. Pretty wild, right? So let's go ahead and move to number three. Now, number three is Garth and Trisha met after a duet in the studio. The two just so happened to be working with the same songwriter at the time, songwriter Kent Blazy, and because of that day that they spent together, Yearwood knew she found love. She said, What I remember about that day, singing on the same microphone, and it was a duet, felt immediately like I'd been singing with him forever. Brooks and Yearwood then married in 2005. Going on to number two, everybody loves to know what country stars were doing before their fame and fortune, right? So what was Garth up to? Well, Brooks and his first wife, Sandy Maul, actually worked at local boot stores to make the ends meet. And moving on to number one, last but not least, Garth gave a fan the chance of a lifetime and showed her what it was like to be him for a day. The fan was actually a concession stand worker at one of his shows that he held at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. Now, after meeting her, Garth brought her on stage and introduced her to the audience. And of course, the crowd cheered and screamed her name, but Garth ultimately told her it was time to get off stage. And it was what happened next where she kind of realized what it was like to be Garth. While the fan was still on stage, she told Garth she didn't want to leave. And that's when Garth let her know, and that's what it's like to be Garth Brooks. If there is one thing Garth loves, it is his fans and performing live. So I guess it's not easy being Garth when you have to say goodbye to what it is you really love. 
Brooks is such an amazing country artist and definitely an interesting person with lots of stories to tell. But go ahead and check out the article from Rolling Stone where they have a lot more information surrounding the new things learned about Garth Brooks from his recent documentary, The Road I'm On. That will be it for today's video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down at the bottom and turn those notifications on for breaking updates on your favorite country artist and all the news coming right out of Music City. Y'all stay country.